Young actor Lonnie Chavis, the ceiling is incredibly high for this young kid. And I can't wait to see what more and more uh, is in store for this career. But we're going to talk about the new film that he's in that's going to be releasing very soon. And this review coming to you right now. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel today for another movie review. Today, we're going to be reviewing the film The Water Man, which is going to be in theaters May 7th. I enjoyed this film incredibly. It's a really compelling story. The cast is phenomenal. And overall, like, I like how it had, like, a, a, a sort of a teen or young kid feeling and storytelling, but really for all ages. It's a little bit of something for everybody in there. It does uh, truly... Uh, explore some really deep things that um, a lot of us potentially may have been through in life but ultimately it's just the story of a little kid and how far he would go uh, for his family and I, I, I I'm just fully behind that but yeah like I said the director of this is David Oye Lowo uh, he's also stars in this as well alongside of Rosario Dawson and Lonnie Chavis as I mentioned uh, this is also uh, brought to you by the EP, Oprah Renfrey. So, you know, if Oprah putting some money into it, it's got to be something special. But so, yeah, you have um, Lonnie, this little kid, Gunner, who's just on this really compelling story to save his mother by any means. His mom, who's played by Rosario Dawson, is dying from cancer. So he stumbles across this uh, urban legend in his town of this guy, the water man, who basically cheated death. And... He has the ability to heal, and this is what he feels is his way in order to save his mother uh, from this uh, terminally illness. Also, at the same time, too, this story is really premised around the power of hope and how hope can really provide light in, like, the darkest and most toughest situations. So, that's the premise of this film. Um, the, the cast up and down was really good. Rosario Dawson is the mother um, that, you know, is going through this illness. It's just like, it, it's, it's, it, it just hits. It just hits home because um, all of us love her and seeing her in this situation, even in acting, it, it just takes it to the next level. David, a uh, character who uh, plays as, uh, as um, Gunner's dad, he is a little hard on, on, on Gunner. Um, Gunner has said throughout this movie that he never feels like he's good enough. And his father, who is under a, an incredible amount of stress and pressure with, you know, with his wife, obviously, um, dying from this illness and trying to balance out his life, but also taking on new roles in the house that he's usually not accustomed to because that's, you know, at, at, at times what his wife would have to do. But now he's having to step up. Um, and it's causing some shifts in his emotions and whatnot, which is also causing a rip between his father, the father-son relationship. And then at this point now, we find him really go to the depths of everything in order to find his son who goes out on his journey, basically goes missing. Um, but at the same time, too, he also discovers truly who his son is in this. So I love that dynamic in this as well. Um, I thought the adventure... Uh, was was really good. It kind of draws similarities to um, other kids' stories. Like, there's some parallels with, like, the story of Wrinkle in Time and whatnot. But uh, it's just ultimately driven by Lonnie's performance, who is your lead here. And just seeing this little boy put on um, this performance of just, uh, you know, from the, from the emotions of, of what he's going through with his mother... Um, really the ambitious and determination into finding essentially a cure, um, the research that he does and how he's just really, really proactive and making sure he does his part into anything as far as going as far as anything in order to save his mother. Um, so I really, really, uh, you know, connect with that being the son, obviously, and um, knowing that how much we love our mothers out there. Uh, but nonetheless, I was just really surprised at how much I liked this film because I knew this film was going to really be, you know, towards that, that kid audience. But it also surprised me that it really was for everybody because it never felt kiddish at all. It just was just led by, um, you know, young actors and actresses and, and, ult and ultimately told a, a story that everybody should be able to find something to connect with. So it's a fantastic movie. Um, it's about an hour and a half, uh, but with good action, 
good good uh effects uh good sound overall it just came together really good i really have no flack on this film i i enjoyed it for what it was uh so yeah this is the water man it's going to be in theaters may 7th, 7th um definitely a film i would recommend checking out um definitely a film that i would say like yeah i could see get, going back into the theaters to see something like this um it's just really well done it it it, it, it doesn't lack in any department if you ask me um, I think everybody will enjoy it, and I think um, it definitely it definitely might hit home for some people because it, again, it's just you know that father son relationship, and both of them doing whatever they can uh, considering the circumstances that are at hand, and they really um, ultimately rose to lead them back to each other. So yeah, but anyway, thank you so much for checking out this review, folks, and uh, I stick around because we got more reviews coming very soon.